They were born in Colombia. Their parents fled Bogota, Colombia U in the fall of 2017, as Venezuela was imploding, state intelligence agents came looking for Belize Torre Albatovar, who had helped recruit young people to protest against the government of Nicolas Maduro. She went into hype a year and a half later, she gave birth to a boy at a hospital in South Bogota. At 5 pounds, 8 ounces, he was tiny but healthy, with a round face and a crop of black hair. She named him Ain, now just over a month old, he is stateless, a citizen of nowhere. Unlike the United States and most countries in Latin America, Colombia does not automatically grant citizenship to anybody born there. And though he does qu I just want him to have a nationality so that he doesn't end up essentially not existing in the world, the 24-year-old Torre Alba said. Thousands of children are in the same situation amid one of the largest forced displacement in modern history, as an estimated 5,000 people flee Venezuela each day. More than 4 million Colombia Civil Registry Agency counts nearly 3,400 children born to Venezuelan parents since October 2017, when the government started tracking them. Advocates say that children born without Colombian citizenship are allowed to enroll in school in the public health care system. So many benefits, they are children who don't have a state to protect them, said Venezuelan lawyer C. Omar Arasho. Practically orphaned, it's no surprise why so many people are leaving Venezuela. Once Latin America's richest country, it watched its economy collapse spectacularly as oil prices fell, hyperinflation rendered the currency worthless and shortages of food and medicine led to rampant hunger and disease. One study showed that by 2017 nearly 90% of Venezuelans were living in poverty and that the average citizen had lost 24 pounds U figures that are surely higher now. In Colombia, Torre Alba struggled to rebuild her life. After a month of share, she started dating a man from Venezuela and in September found out she was pregnant. He appeared ecstatic, Torre Alba would endure the rest of the pregnancy alone. She understood that children born in Colombia qualified for citizenship there only if at least one parent was Colombian or has legal permanent residency. New mothers, but as a result, she thought about returning to Venezuela to give birth. But in February, the Venezuelan government cut diplomatic ties with Colombia and closed border crossings amid a U.S.-backed effort to bring in humanitarian aid, which Maduro saw as a pretext for a U.S. invasion. When the country was, she was glad she did, because she developed high blood pressure in a condition called preeclampsia, which can lead to fatal complications, and had to be hospitalized. She had heard that, early last month four days after giving birth, Torre Alba was recovering at Hospital Materno Infantil, a public maternity ward where expectant mothers sleep six to a room on beds with aged metal frames, their names written on dry erase boards above their pillows. A nurse came in to take her blood pressure and gasped at the results. Dear girl, about 15 babies are born at the hospital each day, roughly a third of them to Venezuelan mothers, many of whom learn of the citizenship predicament only after they deliver. Chavirkis Alvarez Guanipa said a social worker had informed her that morning that her newborn daughter wasn't Colombian. But the 19 year I didn't know, she said in a near whisper. I don't even want Colombian leaders say they're doing everything they can to help Venezuelans. We aren't responsible for statelessness, you it's Venezuela that didn't want to give them the documents, said Felipe Mu plus or minus ounce, an advisor to the Colombian president. Colombia has ex- Migration officials announced in early May that they are studying whether the constitution would allow them to grant citizenship to children born to Venezuelan parents. Multiple citizenship proposals also have been presented at the congressional level. Last month, Sr. Andres Garcia, this situation not only means the violation of fundamental rights, he said, but it also affects the social, economic and future dynamics of a country that could be built with a significant number of people without legal status and without opportunities. 
Even before diplomatic relations plummeted and the consulates closed, it was difficult for Venezuelan parents to get their Colombian-born children citizenship. The baby is a foreigner, a nurse in Bogota told 23-year-old Kimberlyn Suarez Villegas after her son Esteban was born in November 2017. At the Venezuelan consulate, officials left her waiting indefinitely. She did manage to get a birth certificate from the Colombian Civil Registry Office. On one side, or on the other, is a note not valid for citizenship. Suarez, who was close to finishing her law degree when she and her husband left Venezuela nearly four years ago, said she has little faith that the Colombian president, Ivan Duca, or his government will grant citizenship to children like her son. People see us as invaders, she said, bursting into tears. My son is a state. Suarez dreams for her son are simple. What I want is for my son to have a citizenship document so he isn't disadvantaged in the future. That he live well, as for Torre Alba, she has settled into motherhood in her new home. Her mother left Ven Torre Alba recently devised a plan to give Angel citizenship. Over Christmas, if I enter Venezuela and they find out I am there, they could put me in jail, kill me or disappear me, she said. But if the plan works, her baby will be a Venezuelan citizen by next year. Copyright 2019 Los Angeles Times Visit the Los Angeles Times at www.lateams.com Distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC Raindrop, drop, 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 dr